Guys, I love this movie. It must be pretty easy to talk about since it's you know really good and everything. It's very exciting. It's you 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 you're when you get the call that you could potentially be in a movie like this, you're excited, you're intimidated, and then you just hope that it's going to be awesome. Because it could be it could be so bad. Like when a, a film a film of this size making a movie, there must be there must be a few nerves when you first get the call of like what if we what if we ruin Alien? For well, it's impossible to make a good movie anyway. I mean, do you know how many movies come out a year? <laughs> like and maybe five of them are really good. So when you have the expectations of Alien behind it, you're definitely putting a lot of pressure on yourself. But the fact of the matter is, it's really Scott, and he's been kicking ass for a long time. So you're in pretty safe hands, and yep. you've got the McBride. Yeah. I can remember walking onto that spaceship and everybody on the cast was, you could instantly tell like, oh, everybody is so intimidated to be here. This is crazy because it does, I mean, the moment you were on there, it feels like it's an alien movie from just seeing how the set's designed to the technology. I don't know if you remember this, but we had a couple of moments where we were like, dude, we're on the alien ship. Yeah. This is incredible. Do you think I'll get kicked off the movie if I take a picture of us here? (laughs) Like zero selfies the entire time. Oh yeah, you're not allowed anything on there. Um, talking about uh, the kind of the comic relief of the film, there is none. It's none. serious as sh. I mean, none. it's there's there's some lighter moments, but what was it like to go into a movie and it's just death and more death and fear and a little bit more death? It was awesome. I mean, that was you know my first instinct was exactly probably what most people were when when I got the call for this. I'm like, oh. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna like uh, be an asshole, and then I'll get my head ripped off. And, uh, <laughs> and then I started reading the script, and I was like, "Wow, this is like there is no levity in this. This is a dark film. It starts out dark and just gets darker." And that's as a fan, it was super exciting to see that's where the Alien franchise was, was gonna go. But as an actor, it was just very cool. It's new territory for me. It was fun. There must have been a fear for some people, certainly for me, that aliens aren't gonna be that scary anymore because we've seen them so many times. But it freaked me the hell out. It is more freaky than you. Would ever imagine. I mean, you think even just because you're on a set, like obviously this isn't real, but uh, just the atmosphere that really creates. And then when you do see that iconic alien, like kind of coming through the shadows towards you, it is it is horrifying. It taps into something from your childhood that is, you know, that has been hidden, waiting to be sparked. I knew we were pretending no, um, for no. money, so. Uh, <laughs> I was not. You got pretty scared. You were scared a few times. I saw no, you. I'm a, when you just bring bring on the chaos, and you'll see what a stoic leader I am. <laughs> what I uh, and what I loved about the movie uh, is that they use like sort of costumes and animatronics going back to the original Alien films. It's not over the top with with CGI all the time, so you get that sense of sort of fear, of literal fear. Uh, but you guys, you guys must have had a bit of fun on set with that, like seeing you make corpses and stuff like lying around. Incredible, and, and Ridley got this like great enthusiasm about showing you how disgusting the severed heads were. You know, he'd bring you in and go, oh, look at that, disgusting, right? But beautiful, disgusting, but it, beautiful. It's incredible, and like the creature shop, when you would just walk around the creature shop on set, I mean, it was awesome. The, uh, the amount of people that go into designing these creatures, to designing these corpses, and it is cool to walk into a building where all of your castmates are dead versions of them, like laying around, it's very cool. You feel kind of in awe of it, and you also have the responsibility that you have to live up to that kind of craftsmanship, you know? Mm-hmm. You can't, and so it was hard for Danny in a lot of ways, yeah. and he looked up to me and I taught him a lot. <laughs> Um, but you know, but sometimes movie making is about growth. And I remember when I was walking through that creature shop and I was terrified. You were like, "Don't be scared. These are all these creatures are just buttholes and vaginas with teeth." And I was like, "Oh, that doesn't make them any less scary to me, Billy." There's nothing more scary on this world than this earth and buttholes and yeah. vaginas with teeth. <laughs> I don't remember saying that. <laughs> Hi. Oh my God. Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Oh. I'll just leave it at that. I haven't wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. I've got some lipstick oh. on your teeth. <laughs>